forgot the halter tape. <laughs> and gentlemen we're here on the she said she said show and tonight i'm really pleased to have with us uh, somebody who is close to our hearts uh, cutie and mine and she's also from the movie and television review and classification board she works with us also uh, also a board member um, one of the prettiest faces for me in show business a dear friend and she is both beauty and brains ladies and gentlemen please welcome miss amalia fuentes but before that she said that um, she loves to be with her Yes, and uh, she said there's no dull moment with her around. So again, please welcome Miss Amalia Fuentes. Woohoo! So, but anyway, you two are really the first two favorite people <laughs> in the board that I, I met because you're so down to earth. You're so young. I'm carried away by all your energy and your enthusiasm. And I am really glad that I met you. Yes. And this is one of the best uh, things that has happened to me in the last two years. Because as you know, I went through a lot. And I guess um, God is just making it up to me. Oh, nice. Yes, you know, but this is this is our show and you're our guest. It's yes. like, you know, she's saying all these nice things about us. I know. We should invite her for our birthday. You, you know, I was hoping Tita Amalia could bring her photos. She has such beautiful, beautiful photos. I mean, for us, our generation, we weren't able to see yes, yes. how beautiful she really was. But whenever I say the name Amalia Fuentes, everyone would say the Elizabeth Taylor of the Philippines, meaning she's the most beautiful woman in the I know, Philippines. I know, yes. And, um... Too bad we couldn't have her DVDs and her photos. But that's videos. okay because I know uh, they still show some old movies, oh, yes. like black and white. Uh -huh. Everything was black and white before. Yes. Actually, you know, I would like to come out in a black and white film. Do you know that we tried watching one of her uh, films Which last one Easter? Is that? And Which she, one was that? I'm not quite sure. The one where you met, uh, where you were with the father of Lisa. Oh, the one with okay. the, yeah. Uh, Ibulong Masakin. Ibulong Masakin. Yes. And, uh, and also for those people who haven't seen her movies before because mm -hmm. they're really, really young. You can go to YouTube because Wilson, yes, 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 yes. our I friend, did. was able to download a lot of movie clips from there. Yes, our friend. Yes, our that's guest. true. Yes. Yeah, we saw that movie with Vilma Santos. Yes, the Samuel well, and Scene. We could really, <laughs> yes. if, word for word, yes, we, Wilson I am amazed that Wilson. Yes, and even his... before I told him I knew you, he was already doing that for me. <laughs> uh -huh. He was doing that whole, whole scene and I'm like, Oh my God, Wilson, guess where we're going for Easter? Tita Amalia Fuentes' house. And he started reenacting it again. I go, can you do it in front of her? And he's like, no. I go, come on, you have to do it. She'll love you. <laughs> of course. So but anyway, Ibulong Mo Sa Hangin. Yeah, is, what was that about? Uh, I have two movies that you can buy also in, uh, in the States through Amazon.com. Wow. Because it was, it was um, dubbed in English. Great. Yes, so now it's still being shown. Like, um, mga midnight, uh, you know, because it's a horror film. Right. <laughs> and there is always a market for horror film. Yes, yes. No matter who the stars are. It's only in the horror genre that you don't really need a name star. But, for example, in a drama film, yes. that's when you, you need, need a name star. So, so Tita, how do you feel when you when you watch all your old films? You know, wait, wait, she hasn't even seen her old films since uh, never? they were shown. In fact, when we yes, were in Tali, that's true. that was the first time she was watching herself. I was, so how yeah. did you feel? No, because there were no DVDs before. And so I had to watch my own film in the theater. Yes. And so if I have a chance only to watch it once, that's it. So after all these years, I was watching my film, and it's like, 
watching a new movie because I didn't know what was going to happen right. next. You yeah. know? She so, didn't even know which, know, which you color don't remember. outfit she was wearing. No. She's like, maybe well, I'm the blue, yeah, maybe I, I'm the yellow. If you make, yes. if you make so many I, I movies, know, you don't remember I anymore. I didn't know what, yeah. what the story is. I didn't even know how it was going to end. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Wait, like, Tita, Jackie mentioned many movies. How many movies? Do you even know? Did you keep count? Yes, of course. I have made 350 <gasps> films what? in a lifetime. Oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yes. And do you know that? And at I, that time, there were no short Pita Pita movies. They were all like full, full length. length. Yes, yeah. of course. And, but at that time, uh, black and white films were easier to make because like you how only many need days? one light. And, ah. But a colored film needs and, and a lot. And how many cameras? Of, yeah, one camera. One of camera, course. one light. But how many days? Ja like Jackie was in yeah, just a uh, Sometimes we can finish a film in 15 working days. Oh, one five. 15 and then when you days. used to have Pito Pito, like, right. You would seven. Work, no, you but would we finish didn't have Pito Pito, Pito then. No, that came about like that so long yeah. ago. This, this is, when you say 15 working days, it's like working from 8 in the morning till. Uh, late midnight. Oh. That's all? Yeah. No, because now we work 24 hours to do a movie. Really? Yeah, like so there's a different rate past eight, midnight. 7 or 8 right? in the morning. No, 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 no. 8 in the morning and then you, you finish the next day like 5 or 6. Or if you need the sun, you know, the yes. sun rising, then you stay until uh -huh. that. But if not, you finish maybe until 6 or 7. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you know, I met, I don't know if you know of John Crawford. I met her yes. in Hawaii. Uh -huh. And yeah. so I was introduced as a movie star and she told me, because I was very young then, I was 21, but I looked much younger than 21. Uh -huh. right. So I asked, she asked me, oh, so you're a movie star, how many movies have you made? And at that time, I had already made like 38 films, <laughs> wow. you know, and she was, what? This little girl has made 38 <laughs> films? Right. And then she told somebody with her, you know, I better start working again <laughs> because she had made less than that yes. in her life. How old were you when you started? Teenager. I was 14. 14. Okay, okay, no, no. Okay, let's, I want... let's, let's get to that. Actually, when she first started, her mom didn't want to allow her to do movies. Yeah, it's a usual so, story. Tell the story, Tita Madre. Well, uh, of course, my mom didn't want me to go to the movies. I mean, to, to enter. Yeah. But because, you wanted to? Because Dr. Perez wanted her to sign the contract. I could not sign on my own. Yes. Under age. Under I was age. a minor. And my mom was crying and she was saying, Oh, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to you. I don't want to be responsible and this and that. I said, Come on, sign it. <laughs> <laughs> I told her, This is better than, than I had six brothers, you know. I was taking care of them washing the dishes and all really? that. Really? I said, yes. I would rather work in the movies at then, least. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. You know, so finally I prevailed on her mm -hmm. to, to sign the contract because I could not have done it on my own. No, but um, I mean, people might be wondering how, how you entered. Were you offered? Um, somebody saw you and spoke yeah. to you? Well, I was in a, um, they call it uh, holiday in movie land because the fans were allowed to enter the studios, which was off limits to most movie fans. Mm -hmm. These are three, like three, basis, three yeah. studios. Yeah, like yeah. a fan stay. Yeah. Three studios, you buy the ticket, and you get to see some Pagita Pictures, LBN, and Premiere. Where was Premiere? Premiere Productions is in Kalookan. Okay. Anyway, I, I asked my mom if I can go, so she said, okay, but I have to go with you. So we did. And I was going around looking for movie stars to All sign she my autograph. Was an autograph <laughs> of and Gloria who? Romero oh, Gloria ah, Romero. because okay. she was the top star then, and Rick Rodrigo. And somebody spotted me and said, "Can I take your picture?" I said, "Oh my God, this is an, a, a dirty old man that my mother <laughs> always warned me, me about, about, you know." So I said, "No, I don't want to have my picture taken." No, I, just a picture of you because I think that more than the other movie stars that you are running after, because I was <laughs> really running after yeah, them. Yeah, like a fan. You too can be a movie star. And I said, really? I can be a movie star? Then I can see them. I can see them every day, you know? Right. So, yeah. So I allowed myself to be photographed. 
And I was kind of shy. I was even holding my my autograph book. <laughs> and that was that. I had forgotten about it. Do you it. remember who this photographer was? No, he was not a photographer. He was. He turned talent. out to be the sound engineer of some oh. Pagita pictures. He asked a photographer to take my picture. So He's, he noticed you and he took it upon himself to ask you. Yes. Because he thought you were just devastatingly gorgeous. No. So it's not like he was I a talent scout. I didn't even have any makeup or, on. Yeah, see the but That's yeah, why. Yeah, natural and beauty. And so, so you he, should thank him. Yeah, of course, <laughs> until his death. <laughs> yeah. I was grateful. But anyway, uh, he showed the picture to Dr. Perez, and one day, a, a, uh, the service of Sampaguita with all that marking, Sampaguita pictures, parked in front of my house. And of course, all my neighbors were looking, what happened, what happened, <laughs> Sampaguita pictures. And I, I had forgotten about that picture. How, how long? What? How many months? Maybe or weeks two had weeks, three weeks. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, and you gave them your address. Yeah, the, he asked for for my address, but no phone number. So At I the time, no phone. phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, and then the the driver said, "I am instructed to bring you to Sampagita Pictures because Doctor Perez wants to see your daughter." And my mother said, oh "My God, what did you do? You know, she <laughs> didn't even realize what was going on." So I said, "So she didn't know you had your picture taken?" No, because no, she, she was, was in the canteen. <laughs> she was. She didn't like to be under the sun. So <laughs> I, I told her, "Come on, you have to go because this will be my chance to get more autographs yeah, right. and then with without the crowd because yes, it was yes. so crowded that day." And my mother was says, "I said, come on, let's go. You know, it's." like an adventure for me to go to Sampaguita again. Right. And then in a jeep, I don't have to, to ride public transport. Yeah. So we were brought to Dr. Perez and of course Dr. Did, Perez Do you remember? Did you fix yourself walk. up or did you go as is? Oh, uh, as did is, you, my God. So you didn't what are you wearing? No, yeah. because I had no idea or no ambition that I could ever be a movie star. So you, you just know? went, not even thinking, oh, this is my one I, I, I went there to get autographs, more right. autographs. See, imagine she, she joined the movies because it was a chance for her to get Me more autographs, autographs yeah. instead of being Because when you're screen. in school, yeah. you compare notes, and then, of course, you're oh. the you're the be the oh look at <laughs> this. I, I, I was able to, to get, get the autograph, autograph of Gloria Romero. Autographs and, and so, uh, after Did you ever tell Gloria Romero that story? Oh yeah, oh, of course. Okay. Um, and and Gloria is so nice about it. You know, she was so kind to me. Well, everybody was was nice to me in Sampaguita. So and when you were getting in, who was the biggest star? Like the you know, you know how there every stage. So it was Gloria Gloria company, Romero. Yeah. Who was her partner? Gloria Romero was the biggest star then, and then. The, the other uh, studio, LVN, had Nida Blanca. Right. It was a... Who was like, also a former board member of the yeah, MTRCB. PRCB. So there was competition between the two studios. Right. Just like what happened to me and, and Susan Roses, where we were being... Uh, you know, fitted, fitted against, against each, each other. other. Yet okay. you're still friends because you go yeah, to each other's course, parties. And she's the godmother of my daughter oh. and I love her. Right. We're very close. Mm -hmm. And then, Tita, so go back to your story. So you got to Dr. Perez. Yeah, and, and of course, he made me walk. <laughs> and then while I was walking, I saw Luis Gonzalez pass by, and I didn't get his autograph. I just left him. <laughs> I ran after him, you know. I forgot what I was, I was doing there, what I was there for. I just rushed after him and got, and his, got autograph. his autograph. <laughs> And so it was my mother actually who who was um, talking to Dr. Perez. Right. Not me. I didn't care about you were the 14. business yeah, side. So young. You know, I didn't care about the business side. Yes. And yes. then after that, my mother said, "Oh, you're gonna be paid 50 pesos a week. Good, take it. So I so you can pay a maid. So I don't have to do the household <laughs> chores, right? the washing of dishes. And that could have been this. a monthly salary of a maid." Yeah, 15 pesos, pesos at that a time. A month? Yeah, oh, wow. a month. Was the and, month and you would have gotten that? In one week. In one week. Yeah, 50 pesos could have four a week. Days. So I had more money mm -hmm. to buy clothes yeah, yes. but At shoes. that time, right? That you were paid weekly whether or not you had work. Yes. yes. It was like, yes. Uh, like an allowance. Yeah. Like an allowance. Yes. Yes. Because we were contract stars. And yes. because we were contract stars, uh, we were given like... Um, 
yeah, like an allowance uh, because sometimes we are asked to go to this place, like a traveling expense. Right. Sometimes, uh, oh, and we also have like a, uh, we have to attend dance classes. Singing, cl singing classes, right. which never improved well, What my about voice. walking classes? Yeah, like modeling, like modeling, yes, all this like a finishing all school of yeah. sorts. Well, yeah, but a little bit um, uh, more intensive than right. that. So ah. we were working every day, even when we were not shooting. Like what time would you have we to be there? We were attending. Yeah, we we have to report for work every day. Oh, oh, I see. And that's why the fifty pesos a week was supposed to be our traveling. Like, yeah, friend. traveling and training and then, allowance. Other than that, we were given like I was given for my first movie, I was given five hundred pesos <gasps> per movie wow. at the time. You know, so you were the biggest. I felt like a time. millionaire. Yeah, we were that was probably like at the time. Oh, of course, it was still Gloria Romero. She was the top star. Right. That was uh, in 1955. Wow. wow. Long before anyone. 500. Of you were, were 500. Born. We were still yeah, that's that a lot. Yeah, that was a lot of money. Yeah. Um, you can already buy an apartment. Really? Mm. At, with 500? You know, my first property in New Manila yeah, so it would be like cost me only six pesos per square meter. Is that oh. the one you still have that you're yeah. renting out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Six pesos oh or five pesos. Gloria's was even lower because she was she bought it ahead. She bought it like three or four years ahead. before so I did. Wow. So, so she got it at three pesos. Wow. Per square meter. Mine, I found it very expensive. So three, three, five, five pesos. How much was the total of your lot? How much uh, did you pay for that? Well, uh, it was uh, seven hundred square meters. Mm -hmm. So, but I had to pay it in installment. Uh. Right, of course. Lapan among five, six Where did you keep all the autographs? Did you just get a piece of paper and compile it in a notebook, she had a or notebook, you had an right? autograph book? Yeah, I, there's the slum book that right. you have in school. And Dr. Perez had my picture enlarged to oh uh, something like eight by ten, right. and then and then he said, "Keep this. Put. Um, I want you to frame this because uh, this is how you started." And my yes. very first starring role yes. was movie fun. Right. Yeah. So it's like a life story. That was the title of my movie. What and was your my very fan? first, yeah. and it was a box office hit. Wow. Oh. So can you imagine? I I was a movie fan in real life. And my you... very first starring role was as a movie fan. That's the title of the movie. Ah. Movie fan. But what was your yeah. first role ever? My, that was my first. Yeah, that was a first and movie it was starring fan. already. Yeah. Wow. But at when you time, were a movie like, fan, did you always look at the actors and actresses as, oh, I want to be you someday, or I'm just happy to see you? How, how was it? I wasn't looking so much at the glamour side mm -hmm. of uh, filmmaking as I was about the money. Right. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I was thinking, if I worked as a, for example, as a secretary, I would be making, at that time, a secretary was only making 150 pesos a month. A month. So... I'm better off with what I was getting. So it wasn't really the, the glamour because, you know, movies is really hard work. And those who have really gone through that can attest that it is not an easy thing. Sometimes one day,